Ta -da, ta -da. Are we live? We are live. Welcome to the African Rhythm Show. This is hardly an African rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jim Henry with two arms. Tracy Grammer, yeah. I see no Pretty sling. Much. I would say, I would, I would go as far as to say um, one and three quarters arms. One and three quarters. One and three quarters. Well, that's, that's a whole lot good. better than last month. Last month was, was one and an eighth. One and an eighth. That's so it's come a long way. Yeah, so for those who don't know what the hell we're talking about, Jim Henry had rotator cuff surgery in December. And don't forget my bicep thing, too. What about your bicep? They had to reattach it. Gross. Actually, you know, the <laughs> word, it's actually biceps. That is the, that's the... It's your biceps muscle. Oh. I'm just saying. Say more. No, that's it. That's all I got to that's say on it. that. That's, a, that's what Dr. Fallon said? He yep. said biceps? Well, that's what it says on the, this, all the literature. All the literature. Liter You've been reading all the li up. All the ligature. All the ligature. <laughs> well, welcome. This is live stream number what? 48? 48. Almost oh my age. <laughs> Almost to 50. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. <laughs> That's it is lot. crazy. That's a lot of shows. That's a lot of months. And that's a lot of hours that you have spent with us. So we appreciate that so much. Don't we, Jim Henry? Yes, we do. We couldn't do it without you. Well, nope. we could, but it would we be could, silly. Be, <laughs> that would be a fool's errand to sit here and play in the basement in front of a camera for no one. Although I just discovered my uh, next door neighbor enjoys these shows. Which neighbor? Right over here, Chris. Really? Yeah. Right oh, next door. Hey, neighbor. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so it's awesome. Funny. I didn't know. I didn't know she was. She was paying attention. It's it's funny. You know, I I went on a little Northwest tour at the beginning of February, and I was surprised by how many people were familiar with the uh, the live stream. So many people tune in and I get know. some joy out of it. So yay, glad for that. There's potentially billions of people tune, tuning in. Potentially. Potentially. <laughs> that's the that's the operative word. Mm-hmm. So let's see, how is everyone doing? Uh, please turn up the audio, says Dan Unger. Well, uh, let's play a song before we jump to any, change any settings. Okay. Let's, let's um, just make sure that we speak into the microphones. By we, he means me. He means me. <laughs> Oh, someone was at my Parrot House show. Thank you. Thank you for being there. That was a really fun. That is one of the best house concerts in the country, I think. Um, if anybody's out in, in the Northwest and you have the opportunity to attend a, one of the Parrot House concerts, that's Parrot with two R's and two T's, you really should treat yourself. It's such a nice venue, and they have this beautiful catering that they bring in, and it's just a really, really good time. Proper lights, proper sound, proper stage is really fun. Right. So, any caps in the house? Any caps? Yep. Sister. Kate, Patrick. Oh my God. Oh my God. All the cool kids are, are streaming here. in. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. Yay. <laughs> Should we play him a song? Do you think, or do you want to keep chit chatting? I don't know. What do you think? I, I think we have a. I think we're a bus, as they say. Oh, Owen's here. We can start now. Oh, okay, good. Okay, you know we gotta wait for we gotta wait for all the pets to line up and get. I gotta say that people are lucky that we're here at all, given the the weather outside today here in Western Massachusetts. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's it's you know over sixty degrees here in Shutesbury, and we're you know we're colder than than the rest of the valley. So yeah. There's, I'll bet I'll bet you masses all a titter down there. <laughs> Everybody's in tank tops today. Yep. They're throwing off their coats, ditching their gloves, just for this one week, because then I think it's gonna <laughs> go back to. But we're here again. now. We're here now to entertain the people. So we are. All right. Let's do it. Kick-ass Walmart tie Ripping down the main drag Tripping on the headlights Rolling by In the early dawn The cars were gone Did he hear the master's call In the five and dime Did he wake and find He was only dreaming after all Cause this is an ordinary town And the prophet stands apart This is an ordinary town Seven. 
dog down the street beside his wailing wall. Go home, go home, the mayor cried when Jesus came to City Hall. This is an ordinary town, and the prophet stands alone. This is an ordinary town. Drunk ballroom steps Get to believe in your even Stephen with the kids at fast track rep. So you dump your bucks On a velvet tux And you run and join the dance But your holy shows And the Romans know you Just a child of circumstances This is an ordinary town And the prophet has no face This is an ordinary town And the seasons run in place I played that one. Yeah, me too. I messed it up a little bit. Shh, don't tell. I didn't notice. <laughs> How does that always get when I mess stuff like that? Oh, so welcome everyone. Welcome. If you're just joining us, this is live stream number 48, the Alive stream, where we're just really, really grateful to be here today on a, such a beautiful day. We have Jim Henry, who's feeling better than ever with his revamped let's not, shoulder. Let's not, let's not overstate the case here. Jim Henry is feeling great. Well, I'm, I'm going to play the guitar now. That's that's. He's going to play the guitar, which he couldn't do last time. Yeah, that still hurts. That still hurts. But uh, but the more pressing question is: Is the volume okay? Yeah, let us know if the volume's okay. Uh, my guess is that it is. Um, takes a few seconds for the lag for us to see the comments. Seeing lots of applause, not seeing a lot of people straining toward their screens. Sounds great, says Bonnie. Thanks, Bonnie. All right. Thanks for letting us know. Everyone says it's fine. That means it's okay. Good, good, good. All right, what you got for us, Jim Henry? Well, I thought a lot, a lot, a lot about what to play today. I bet you did. And here's, here's what I decided first. This, originally, I decided I'm going to play everything in the key of E today. And so then I arranged my whole set like that. Uh -huh. And then I changed my mind. Oh, so you can. There's a few of them in E, this one in particular. We haven't played this in a long time. And um, classic Delmore Brothers tune, sort of in the style of Doc Watson here. This one's called the Deep River Blues. Back my 
my old boat I'm gonna sail it if she float I got those deep river blues And I'm going back to Muscle Shoals Times are better there I'm told I got those deep river blues Myself Take it easy there, yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, I gotta calm down. I gotta calm you down. You better just settle down, mister. Pace myself. That's right. <laughs> well, Lee, look at you playing all that sassy fiddle over there. I know. No I don't know there was what no happened. violin here today. It's just fiddle today. I don't know what that was. That, that was not me. No. I was possessed. <laughs> I know. Good. P. Nelson is in the house. I see that. Hmm. Howard from Kent. Howard from Kent. Oh, Mr. Greitzer is Oh, in my the God. House. Ron RG. Greitzer. Yes, P. He's just here because I probably owe him money or something. You probably do owe him money. <laughs> Let's see. What do you Susan want? Susan Catania. What? Hi, baby. The Vickies are here. Vicky, Vicky, Vicky. Oh, Vicky Julian. I forgot to thank you for the kitty book. It arrived and I didn't know who it was from, and then you mentioned it in your letter. So <laughs> thank you. It is so cute. Um, all right. See, this is what happens. Like, I have pen pals now because sometimes people leave us a tip by mail. But sometimes people leave us a tip by what? PayPal or Venmo. By PayPal or Venmo, just like that. Look at that magic. Look at that magic. Oh, green. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I thought green because it's almost spring. And St. Patrick's Day. Oh, and then there's that. Well? What, uh, what, uh, what would you, well, should I play here. the mandolin or guitar on this one? Uh, what do you feel like? I don't know what the song is, so I was just hoping for a clue. Well, this is a mellow song. It's a Towns Van Zandt song, so you might want to play. Oh, uh, did, did we do this a little while we ago? We did, just All a right. moment ago. All right, let me, let me switch. A song I rarely play. Does it have the word morning in it? It does. Okay, I know which one. Hey, my Auntie Sarah is here. Hello, Sarah. I trust that means Donna is here as well, but maybe not, maybe not. One, let's not assume, um, but we're happy to see everybody today. I know, it's, it's nice of you. Anybody who is here in New England or in the Pioneer Valley, oh. you should, you should, I'm glad you're here <laughs> instead of outside. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, what? What, I'm doing it up here. Ready? Yes, I'm. There's no stronger wind than the one that blows down a lonesome railroad line. No prettier sight than looking back at a town you left behind. There's nothing that's as real as this love that's in my mind. 
Close your eyes, I'll be here in the morning. Close your eyes, I'll be here for a while. There's lots of things along the road I'd surely like to see. Tell myself I'm free But your softest whispers louder than that highway's call to me Close your eyes, I'll be here in the morning Close your eyes, I'll be here I'll be laying here beside you when the sun comes on the rise. And I'll stay as long as a cuckoo wails and a lonesome blue jay cries. Close your eyes, I'll be here in the morning. Close your eyes, I'll be played that one in I don't even know how long that's I'll be here in the morning Towns Van Zant song I did record a single of that a few years back available on Bandcamp if you're interested um, but yeah beautiful 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 song always reminds me of the cats I leave behind <laughs> when I go a traveling um, so I was thinking about Pickles as I was singing that one. You'll be happy to know that Pickles has recovered from my one month away doing the, uh, I did a, a training, an intensive training away from home for the entire month of January. And I left my cat with a cat sitter who took marvelous care of her. She's so good, Jamie James. And, um, and Pickles is none the worse for wear, I'm happy to report. She survived. So. Did she even know you were gone? She, she did know I was gone because she <laughs> slept on the bed, which she doesn't usually do. So she, she sort of retreated upstairs to kind of like a favorite hiding place. But, um, but she's okay. We're all good. So I'm, I'm sure. I'm it's sure a big relief fine. to me. <laughs> well, you know. I, I'm sure I have, it was harder on you than it was on her. Well, I have often thought that my memoir, if I ever finish my memoir, should be called Leaving Cats because from the, from the get-go, there's always been a cat to leave behind, and it's just the worst feeling. Yeah. 
Leaving Cats, copyright 2024. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you got to say it or it's not true. <laughs> Thank you. Well, let's do this one, which you will be surprised to, feel, to play. This one also in the key of E. This is a song by the Ass Ponies Oh, you from just Ohio. like to say Ass Ponies. I do like to say <laughs> Ass Ponies, but this is a great song, I think. It's one, it's, it's one, of, the great, um, one of the great opening lines of a song. Mm -hmm. It is a good opening line. Am I on violin? I'm on violin. Yeah, I think violin's probably. What key are we in? Set. Is this we're in e? e? Yeah, we're E. We're still in E. Yep. There's several in E. Okay. I can do that. This one's just called Dollar a Day. Brother got bird lice from a feather he fixed with a bobby pin. That's a small price to pay for the privilege of being the Indian. He said, I'll be a friend if you give me a dollar a day. I'll be your friend if you give me a dollar a day In the picture she posed on the car hood in lipstick and underpants The very same evening that she was crowned queen of the harvest dance Said, I'll make you king if you give me a dollar a day. <laughs> well, I'll make you king if you give me a dollar a day. Well, lonesome sinner, lonesome saint. Make me a winner, or is it too late? Good luck. Light, she looks like a girl you remember from summer camp. Who reached through your rib cage, tore out your heart with a postage stamp. She said, I was your girl when you gave me a dollar a day. I was your girl when you gave me a dollar a day. Well, I'll be your friend if you give me a dollar a day. Well, I'll be your friend. I love that song. <laughs> I love that song. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. There's some great lines in there. Yeah. Reach through your rib cage and tore out your heart with a postage stamp. Wow. What? I think they were high when they wrote that. What? You don't get that? Huh? You don't understand that? A letter. Yeah. Okay. What's wrong? Yeah. Why, why would you be high? That's like. Well, because I also had the movie of reaching through someone's heart and. <laughs> <laughs> with an actual stamp. Oh, well. <laughs> like, maybe I'm high. Uh, yeah, okay. No <laughs> I'm a very literal person. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, JJ is saying that maybe you guys did that one with the three Zs? Oh, we sure did. Oh, yes. Absolutely. That would be JJ O'Connell. JJ in the house. Oh. The best drummer in North America. I said it. You said it. I said it out loud, out so it loud. must be true. It's on the internet. One billion people 
have heard that now. Now you're never going to be able to work with him again because he's going to be so busy. Well, his head is already pretty big. Oh, dang. <laughs> Just kidding, JJ. <laughs> but you're not kidding about him being great. Oh, no, no. He's, he, is, he is the drummer of choice. Killer backup singer, too. If you like, if you like great backup vocals. Yeah, I mean, if that's your thing at if all. If that's your thing, then he's the guy. <laughs> We're making him blush. Good. Andy Caps, yeah, isn't that a great song? I love that song. <laughs> oh, right, what do you got for us? Well, I think it's time for us to do a little Yelp, yelping. Ah, and okay. by that, I don't mean getting on an app and finding out where to have lunch. I mean like coyote howling. Hmm. I had the opportunity to house sit for a friend, and I, it's been a long time since I heard a pack of coyotes, but she lives just far enough out in the hills that a, a whole bunch, well, actually, I don't know how many, it sounded like a whole bunch, yeah, right. came, came through the hills, and it was chaos. It was just like, I don't it's know. It sounds like a party. Coyotes sound like they're having a party, yeah. usually. It was, it was, I expected it to be more um, resonant. It was very, like, Really high. It's kind of yippy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it yeah. was. <laughs> I thought it would be more like, I don't know. Well, well they're not very big, you know. They're yeah. smaller than dogs, some of them. Yeah, it was quite the sound. But anyway, this song's got some coyotes in it. It's got some shape shifting. It's another Dave Carter song. You gonna play it on that? I'm gonna play it on guitar. All right. Blushing for real. Good. She come down from Oklahoma With her brown-eyed pride and joy She come down from Oklahoma With her brown-eyed pride and joy With a fair hair and testimony
first hole through the head high blossom. Oh, and it let them hound dog is run. And the dogs treat to white possum. Just a pair of lovebirds rising in the blue and boundless sky. There's some yipping going on in that song. <laughs> I hope you were joining us out there in the world. It's fun. It's liberating. I'm going to change this banner here. All right. All right, Terry Woodburn in the house. Hey, Jeff. Jeff Potter. Oh, my God. Potter's in the house. God, this is... What? It's this is, I'm starting to think this might be the coolest broadcast on planet Earth right the now. The coolest audience has assembled here today. And that's how you know it's a good show, when mm. the cool kids show up. Lucky us. I know. Well, what do you got for us, J.H.? What? We can't just bask in our glory right now? You can bask. All right, that's fine. Well, let's. Oh my God, let's do. Uh, so I put up. I put up the thing for um, if you if you don't like PayPal and you don't like Venmo, but you still have checks. <laughs> we we take checks. You might as well use them up. And uh, yeah, you want to use up your postage stamps? And, um, send us a check, and I will write you a little handwritten note back. That is what I like to do. Um, it's kind of fun. Do you walk the checks to the bank, or do you? No, I, I Take a picture do of a mobile deposit because my bank branch closed, so I have to, I would have to drive quite a ways. I, I deposit them mobily, but I do walk the letters to the post office, so there is that. A little ways on a There's journey so much, in my so pocket. So much love, so, so much, much love, love going I on there in Greenfield. I put the love on, I put the love on, you know. <laughs> That's what it's all about. That's all any of this is, is a big exchange of love. Oh boy, here we go. Well, speaking of love, let's play a love song. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> let's play a love song. What do you got? It's hard, hard to believe we're, we've been friends as long as we have. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's like Laurel and Hardy or something. I don't know. Mm. Let's, let's do a love song about a horse. Okay. Want to? Sure. Well, about about, well, about a couple of horses, not just me and a horse, <laughs> just a love song, a horse love song. We'll send this out to Bob Cole. He's, he's, a, good, he's a big horse guy, probably knows this song. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four. About 18 to 25, I left Tennessee very much alive. Well, I never would have made it through the Arkansas mud if I hadn't been a riding on the Tennessee stud. Now, I had me trouble with my sweetheart's pa, and one of her brothers was a bad outlaw. I sent her a letter by my uncle Fudd, and I rode away on the Tennessee stud. Now the Tennessee stud long and lean, the color of the 
sun and his eyes are green. He had the nerve and he had the blood and there never was a horse like the Tennessee stud. Drifted on down into no man's land We crossed that river called the Rio Grande Well, I raced my horse with the Spaniards full Well, it got me a skin full of silver and gold Now me and the gambler, we couldn't agree We got in a fight over Tennessee Well, we jerked our guns and he fell with her And I got away from Tennessee stud now the Tennessee stud long and lean The color of the sun and his eyes are green He had the nerve, he had the blood And there never was a horse like the Tennessee stud Now I got just as lonesome as a man could be Dreaming of my girl in Tennessee Now the Tennessee stud's green eyes turned blue Cause he was a-dreaming on a sweetheart too Now we loped right back across Arkansas I whooped her brother and I whooped her paw When I found that girl with the golden hair Well she was a-riding on the Tennessee mare now the Tennessee stud, long and lean, the color of the sun and his eyes are green. He had the nerve and he had the blood, and there never was a horse like the Tennessee stud. Stir up, stir up, and side by side Across them mountains and valleys wide We came to Big Muddy and we forded a flood On the Tennessee mare and the Tennessee stud Now there's a pretty little baby on the cabin floor A little lost cold playing round the door Well, I love that girl with the golden hair And the Tennessee stud loves the Tennessee mare now the Tennessee stud, long and lean, the color of the sun and his eyes are green. He had the nerve and he had the blood, and there never was a horse like the Tennessee stud. Horsey love song. Horsey love song. Hey, Storm is here from Greenfield. Hey, neighbor. Thanks for tuning in. Hope they're watching on the porch. On the porch, on outside, right? Uh, Katrina's here from Washington. Nice. Sweet. Sweet. All right. This is so fun. It is, yeah. You have fun, Jim Henry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arm, my arm hurts. My shoulder hurts. Uh-oh. That's, you know, it's okay. It's okay for it to hurt. Yeah, it is. But Dr. Know. Fallon said that's okay. A little, a little ache. Well. Do you good? Dr. Fallon's not tuning in today. So. No, I'm sure he's not. <laughs> Busy man. He says as long as I don't do any Pete Townsend kind of windmills, I'll be all right probably. So. Well, that's, that's good. What's up? Uh, I, am I playing guitar or mandolin on this well, one? I think you're playing guitar on this one. Okay. Yeah, if that's all right. If it doesn't, well, it's not too fine. painful. No, no, I'll be, I'll be careful. Going to do a song I wrote about gambling. Does it have horses in it? No horses in this one. Does it have mountains in it? No mountains in this one. <laughs> we got a we got a dealer, we got a cross, we got a locket, got a waterfall, we got a disco ball. 
I don't know. What more do you want than that? That's that sounds a, like a pretty damn a, good song right like there. Good, sounds like a good night, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> that's right. And all those things are euphemisms for something else. <laughs> Everybody's in their places in plastic buckets and hopeful faces Padded stools and a couple glasses One for liquor, one for ashes It's nickel slots and blackjack tables Saggy jeans and phony sables Sirens whine as the nickels fall Pull again, bet it all. And then hit it big, hit it fast. It's in your blood, the dice cast. Drop a dollar, drop a dime. You're an urban 49, sweet civilian silver miner. Mind's the eye that sees it all from behind the disco ball. Fortune is a fickle mistress, but Jesus Christ, you can't complain. Hundred dollars in your pocket. Lucky is your middle name. Dealer boys in blue and black. Dealer girls with ample racks. Ace is high and the deck is stacked. See him swagger, see him laugh. Dropping dollars, dropping dimes. No such thing as quitting time. Double down and live the dream. Pretty ladies, Jimmy P. Jesus Christ on a chain, seven dollars in your pocket. Dealer boys with empty hands, cocktail girls and wedding bands. Ace is high, but the chips are flat. Break a sweat, watch your back. Double down and make a fist. Lady Luck, near miss. You're an urban 49er. Sweet civilian silver miner. It mines the eye that sees it all. Yeah, it mines the eye that sees it all from behind the wall. 
That was 49er by Tracy Grammer, <laughs> featuring Jim Henry on lead guitar from the album Low Tide. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, gosh, that was fun to play. Well, let's, let's, just, uh, let's try this one. Try this one, a Jason Isbell song. Hmm. Remember this one? Well, not so much. It's well, been a while. It's going it's to be great. It'll be fresh. Sort of A minorish. A minorish. Verse. This is the one that that Aunt Bonnie recommended, right? Uh, I, I think so. I'm not sure if she recommended it. She but did. I think she's a fan of this one, that's yeah. for sure. I don't know if she's here today. I, have, I don't think I've seen her. I've seen her online. I'm going to have to. Vicki may be the only person in the audience who's been to the Blue Lake Casino about which 49er was written, or in which 49er was written. Oh, wow. So that's kind of cool. That's cool. Yeah, she has family in Blue Lake, so. Isn't that fun? Yeah, let's put up a different banner. Let's put up a... I put the PayPal banner up. Let's put up the banner about... All the cool things that are happening? The guitar lesson thing. Oh, yeah. Let's look at that. So tell the people what you're going to do. Well, Jimmy's emerging from, from several months of not <laughs> playing or, or, or working and... Um, because I've been had the shoulder operation, and I've, I have returned to t teaching. I have taken uh, several years off from teaching guitar, and or mandolin or dobro, and so I'm back at it. Um, online or in person, I have a, a couple students have, have uh, signed up at this point, but uh, there's always room for more, so if you're interested in guitar lessons or uh, mandolin or some dobro. Learn from the best, that's what I say. Either that or call me, so. <laughs> 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 Took you a second, didn't it? It did. And uh, so what's up there? We got my uh, It says yeah, guitar my lessons online or in person, jim at jimhenry.net or via Facebook Messenger. That's it. That's it. That's what the Give a shout. Know. You know, you don't have to sign up for weekly lessons. You can just have one if you want, get a taste of it, or you can do weekly or bi-weekly or whatever. Or even something like how do you make up a solo? Like you do those kinds of lessons too, Sure, right? just, you know, real specific stuff. How do you play along with someone else, you know? Um, so, and, you know, some people actually use uh, that kind of time to talk about recording techniques or mm -hmm. EQ stuff or whatever. So I'm available for that stuff if you're interested. That that's was, right. That's my public service Just put a quarter in the meter and then watch the, <laughs> watch the information flow out. <laughs> He's got so much to offer. I really do. All right, so let's try this one. Hopefully I won't mess it up and people are going to be like, I don't want to learn guitar from that guy. Pure beginners are okay, aren't they? We've got that oh, question. Oh, absolutely. Yes, Rebecca. I, those are kind of my favorites, actually, because... Annie, thank so you for tuning in. Thank you. So, yes, Rebe Rebecca posted this question. What question? Right here. What's it say? I can't read it. It says, does one have to have any guitar experience? Pure beginners okay? And the answer is... The answer is absolutely yes. Bring it. You need a guitar. You do need a guitar. You don't even have to know how to tune it. Um, that would be helpful, but you don't have to, to get started. That's so. right. He can show you all that. If you just need to know, how do I change my strings? They look kind of rusty. Jim yeah. Henry can show you that. I would recommend changing your rusty strings. <laughs> <laughs> if they make your fingers smell, it's time to change them. <laughs> Do you smell your fingers often? Or? Well, <laughs> back in the day, before I did any of this, and I had an old guitar, I'd play it, and, and then I, I didn't like to play it because it made, you know, it's that metal smell. I hate yeah. that smell. It's like I thought it meant just like garbage that had built up on the strings. Guitar no. cheese, that's called. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> guitar cheese. Oh, God. Um, no, it was just like they were old strings, and I didn't know. I didn't know because violin strings, you don't change them. You don't want to change them if you don't right, have to. Right, unless they break, yeah. Yeah. Same with big old bass strings, too. Yeah, so, but guitar strings, different story. Yeah, you want to change them. Change them all regularly. the time. Hey, yeah. Richard White's here. Richard White used to take lessons with me a long time ago. Maybe he'll give us a testimonial. That's right. Now he's off. He's a professional guitar player making his living in Las Vegas. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. 
Yeah. All right, let's try this right, song. Let's try Good this goofing song. around here. Not the long flowing dress that you're in Or the light coming off of your skin A fragile heart you protected for so long Or the mercy in your sense of right and wrong It's not your hands searching slow in the dark or your nails leaving love's watermark Not the way that you talk me off the roof Your questions like directions to the truth It's knowing that this can't go on forever well, Likely one of us will have to spend some days alone Maybe we'll get 40 years together But one day I'll be gone But one day you'll be gone If we were vampires and death was a joke We'd go out on the sidewalk and smoke Laugh at all the lovers and their plans I wouldn't feel the need to hold your hand And maybe time running out is a gift I'll work hard till the end of my shift And give you every second I can find it isn't me who's left behind It's knowing that this can't go on forever Well, likely one of us will have to spend some days alone And maybe we'll get 40 years together But one day I'll be gone But one day you'll be gone Likely one of us will have to spend some days alone And maybe we'll get 40 years together But one day I'll be gone But one day you'll be gone Jason Isbell, if we were vampires. Mm. A lovely, lovely, lovely song. That is lovely. Mm. And so, you know, it's interesting. It just uses some basic chords, but, you know, I've never heard them put together quite like that. Mm. You know, which is, just goes to show you. It's, there's, it, you can come up with unique stuff with basic, basic building blocks. That's right. Yeah, you don't have to be, you don't have to know all the chords. You have to know Just four of them. Some basic ones. Yeah. Hey, Julie's in the house. Oh, yeah? She's awesome, too. She's a songwriter and a singer and a guitar player. Yep. Just goes to prove that all the cool kids tune into this broadcast. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. What should we do here? What should we do here? Um, 
Oh, maybe I'll play this song. Hopefully yeah. it just needs mandolin on it. You can do mandolin on this. Okay. Want to do Gregory Dean? Want to try mandolin on I'll that? I'll try that. Whoa, okay. I don't know. Uh. Where do you do that one? B flat. Well, or, yeah, it yeah. It doesn't matter. B flat, I think. Yeah. So um, I guess I'll put up a banner about our upcoming shows. Well, I'll put up a banner about Jim's upcoming shows, and I will just tell you about mine. Um, Where's your banners? Well, yeah, but I can't be bannering while I while I um, play. Yeah. So I'll just tell you that um, I have two things coming up in March, pretty imminently. Um, on March 10th, I have a theater thing coming up out in Lenox, Massachusetts. That's out in the Berkshires, with a theater company called Wham Theater. WAM stands for Where Arts and Activism Meet, and it is a, an organization that celebrates women writers, women artists, and uh, they have a thing called the Fresh Takes Play Reading Series, and I've been cast as the lead in a play called Be Here Now, um, which, is gonna, which is gonna happen on the 10th of March. There's two shows that day, two o'clock and seven o'clock, so um, that would be really fun for you to come to. Um, That's a Sunday. Is it a Sunday? I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is a Sunday because we're rehearsing on the Saturday. But, uh, but these are really fun. They're not, it's not like a full stage production. We're going to have our books in front of us and we're going to read, but we're going to read in a very animated theatrical way. And it's, um, it looks like a good cast. I think I actually know one of the people from the Shakespeare thing that I just did. So that's kind of, that's kind of exciting. Um, so that's happening on the 10th. And then on the 15th, I'll be up in Norwich, Vermont at Roots and Wings Coffee House. Um, I haven't been up, played up in Vermont in quite a while, so it would be lovely to see some people there. So um, I think the Vermont stuff is on my website. I haven't, I just got cast for Be Here Now, so I, I don't have that on the website yet, but usually you can find where I'm going to be at tracygrammar.com. Um, and then Jim Henry's got some things, as you can see on the screen. Um, yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing a lot of stuff with the Deep River Ramblers coming up. So we have a website now with professional photographs. There was nothing wrong with those old photographs. No, well, yeah, you took the one. Actually, Paul w would uh, prefer that be our sh shot, but it's just not has just not high quality enough. For iPhone and, people, what? I no. know, right? Anyway, yeah, stuff coming up. So, and you are going to put them on your website, are you not? Yes, I am. I, I've been counseling him about this. It's like no one knows where he is because he doesn't keep everything on just JimHenry.net. So you need to do that. Because he plays with so many different acts. I know. I, I keep it all right up here. Yeah, well, that... JimHenry.brain. <laughs> JimHenry.brain, which doesn't help anyone it, it, else. It doesn't work. It doesn't help me half the time. Yeah, and you can't really count on Facebook either because that's such, you know, the, the algorithms, as they say. Um, so anyway, so we're going to be out and about a little bit. I'm also doing, I'm assistant directing a play right now. It's called Angels in America, and that's over at the community college. And then I just got cast in another play, too, called The Man Who Came to Dinner, where I will be the long-suffering nurse, Miss Preen, who gets verbally abused constantly throughout the play until she gets her, her little revenge at the end. Too bad I couldn't be in that play. I know. You would, well, <laughs> That'd be perfect. If you want to practice lines with me, that would be fun. I but, make um, you laugh too much. Yeah. Anyway, I thought um, we got a we got a few minutes here. Um, I thought I'd play a song I wrote about a guy that meant a lot to me when I was young, um, and his name is Gregory Dean. Gregory Dean, we met when I was twelve years old, and you were seventeen. Was a stringy haired overachiever. You were the captain of the football team. We worked all summer for my daddy out in Abilene. And Gregory Dean, amid the buzz and the smoke and the heat off the big machine. I 
I'd be singing with the warehouse speakers while you acted out Caddyshack scenes. And kept me laughing like a fool hyena, Gregory Dean. You told me all the boys my age were just dumb and green. Said love would take a while to find me. Don't bother with the high school scene. You were always looking to protect me, Gregory Dean. It was a summer. Play that last card. Ah, I left you hanging. Yes, Gregory Dean. Well, Jimmy, that's our hour. But wait, there's one more. What you got? There's one more. It's an Eliza Gilkison tune. Oh, yeah. All right. I want to play this one. It's in the key of E. Okay. Eliza. I know, I miss her. I miss that girl. I saw that she was back out a little bit. Yeah, she's doing some stuff. It's good. She stays pretty close to home these days, but yeah, as as don't we all. Well, we want to thank you all for tuning in for live stream number forty-eight. We might be back to having themes next month. I don't know. Maybe all this, this not having a theme <coughs> works pretty good. Yeah. Too.
I know, but the theme was kind of a fun challenge. It really did get us into some... I mean, a lot of these songs that we love so well now came out of theme shows. Yeah, right, so, exactly. Yeah. So, you want to tell us about this song, or are you just yeah, going to run it? Yeah, I'm just going to run it. It's a great song, self-explanatory. The great, great Eliza Gilkison. The party's over. <laughs> a time Everybody got loaded and everybody looked fine We emptied the coffers of water and wine The party's over We had a good time We danced on the table from midnight till dawn Till all the time was up And the good stuff gone The house is a shambles Broken glass in the street With guttering candles And blood on the sheets We burned all the kindling Pass the bottle around Watch the last coals dwindling And the ice melting down We danced on the tables From midnight till dawn Till all the time was up And the good stuff gone children to clean up the mess the party's over it was a big success we danced on the table from midnight till dawn till all the time was up and the good stuff gone On the table from midnight till dawn, till all the time was up and the good stuff gone. The good stuff gone. another great one love that song all right well thanks again everybody for tuning in live yeah. stream number 48 i'd say that was highly successful that's a wrap highly successful and uh come out and see us live we're gonna be out and about yep so that's that season give it give a give a shout if you're interested in some lessons um be careful driving uh, what else? Get some sun. Get some sun, but not too much. <laughs> but not too much. <laughs> and and uh, uh, get your pets spayed or neutered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks so much All for right. spending this hour with us. We'll see you again soon. <laughs> <laughs>